Hello, welcome to the Eagle 6 test video. Today we're going to be testing this Tokimuri uh, Dev Group, uh, which is the Next Generation Recoil Shock series. The Next Generation Recoil Shock has obviously the um, recoil system inside there to give that um, extra immersion, you know, in the field while you're shooting. Uh, it's also got the auto stop system. Uh, and, uh, and obviously they've got a, sort of a notoriously good hop-up systems in them. Um, so this particular one has the uh, level 10 build, so um, we've basically fully customized it all with the um, uh, all new in, you know, Prometheus parts internally. Uh, so obviously we've got the hard gears, you know, the um, uh, nozzle, tappet plate, cylinder, cylinder heads, um, uh, bearings, uh, all in there to improve efficiency, to improve longevity of the internals. Uh, you know, after you've uh, after you've upgraded them, obviously, uh, as we run these things quite hard over time. Uh, so um, uh, it's also got the Gate Titan Advanced uh, MOSFET in there, uh, which obviously gives it a fast, snappy trigger response. Uh, it's got the Laylax trigger pin on the side there. It's got the uh, Tokyo Marie Cobalt motor, uh, which is obviously TM's high high torque uh, motor. It's got the Firefly hot rubber setup in there, uh, which we've tested at range. Uh, it's got the uh, upgraded uh, TM, uh, sorry, Eagle Six recoil spring in there. It's got the um, uh, gold um, blowback bar in there uh, that we do and uh, Dean's conversion onto the stock uh, where we convert the wireless contact system that they use and so it has a Dean's connector coming off the end there and um, uh, we've uh, slightly widened the holes so you can get a 2600 milliamp hour battery uh, in there which is obviously quite a large power plant to be running these on um, so um, yeah uh, obviously this is a dev group model dev group model is slightly different than the other 416 models in that uh, all the 416s are all the same internally apart from maybe the 416 with a slightly smaller recoil system um, and uh, so they're all going to give the best same performance um, uh, as, as the next 416 we often get uh, asked you know which of the 416s is going to be the best range and performance well they're all the same so uh, uh, with regards to that it's all about whether you want a different external flavor you know to, to them uh, this one here is a, a sort of a dev grew one uh, which has got the um, uh, tango down grip on here uh, it's got the m4 stock at the back here it's got the um, uh, tm uh, battle uh, style um, full grip on the front there where you can put the uh, uh, torch flashlight pressure pad in the side here so that's quite nice and convenient it's got the AAC style uh, silencer on the front uh, with a matching uh, compatible flash hider so you can screw that on and off um, uh, interestingly that actually screws straight onto the scar one so uh, uh, so it's quite cool in that regard and um, the uh, Knights Armament style flip up uh, sights iron sights on there so um, uh, also it comes with a rear cqd sling point as well so uh, so obviously to sort of kick this up because um, it is more expensive for this model than the base uh, 416d model uh, but obviously then when you take into consideration having to buy all these external parts it's actually pretty good uh, and that's why tm do variants you know because uh, obviously people want different cosmetic looking guns uh, and uh, uh, they don't sometimes necessarily want to scour the internet if you know what I mean and try and build it themselves. So, um, uh, so in that regard, you know, uh, the different variants the different manufacturers do. Uh, that's what they're trying to cater for. Obviously, people's you know uh, tastes uh, for different looking guns. But as you can see, obviously this sort of seal team sort of style look is uh, it obviously looks fantastic. So, uh, but um, uh, enough of me talking. Uh, we'll get some uh, testing done with this. Or so I'll better talk about the FPS. So it's a three four four on point twos. Uh, with a max of 350, uh, it's 262 uh, on three twos with a max of 277. So it's uh, it's under, and that's on the Eagle 6 M90 spring. Uh, so we'll get some rounds down range. Uh, so there's no pre-cocking on this by the way, so uh, we don't use them.
hopefully um, uh, that was all to your liking and um, uh, obviously it's very enjoyable to shoot for me so uh, so hopefully you get the same experience um, yeah so uh, uh, any problems let us know um, so I think we'll be sending this out with two times 2600 batteries I think Yes, we will. So, um, uh, so you got that to look forward to. And um, yeah, any problems, let us know. Uh, otherwise, um, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. So, thank you.